for you morons, infidels, and fools. You know, here's where I live today, number 11. An apartment somewhere in the state of Arkansas. That's good enough. I came from a real nice big home with all the amenities and luxuries that you could have to what I like to call my humble, modest studio apartment. A giant 300 square feet. A bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. But there's benefits to it. It takes me five minutes to vacuum, five minutes for the air conditioner to cool the place down, and I don't have to walk far to go to the bathroom. So it's a good little spot to live, to be by yourself, to control your thoughts, your emotions, and to live the rest of my life as God sees fit. As I look at all these dark clouds roaming in on me today, it can very easily remind me of May 5th, 1993. This half was a bright, sunshiny day. This half became gloom and doom. And as the death and destruction rolled into West Memphis, Arkansas and consumed three babies' life and killed them, it's kind of like this cloud front is rolling in and cooling off the day and consuming me as I stand here in the wind amidst the storm. And the storm is what I have been in for the last three years. But thank God there's a bright side on the other side. I've been down in a lot of low valleys, and people have tried to take me out. But I'm still here. Jesse, Jason, Damien, those names ring in my ears daily. And I still hate you forever and a day. Shall I still hate you? Well, I know that. Well, it's an easy song. The Bible tells me so. And there's so much in here that's in store for you. If you don't have one, rush out to your nearest bookstore and get one, you lowlife. Have the Gideons mail you one. Read it. Live it. Believe it. It is your destiny. Hell awaits you. Catch me outside. How about that?